All right, today's day and age, all of you have a choice to make when it comes to technology. Even you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> Now you may be asking yourself, what would I rather have, Apple or PC? Now these are two very distinct um, items that you can choose from when it comes to technology. Um, but when it comes to my experience, um, I've mainly used um, PCs over the years. Uh, just, that's just the way it's been. My parents, they bought PCs and I grew up using PC. Um, so I prefer PCs. Um, I, would, I would love a Mac um, laptop if I, had the, if I had the choice, but I don't have the money because I'm paying for school and yeah, you, you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so um, when it comes to price, Obviously, um, Apple is more expensive, and you know you, you can customize your PC to kind of fit your your needs um, when it comes to you know pricing and parts and all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so those are two things to consider um, when you're when you're when you're buying um, Apple or, or PC or Mac and PC, I should say. Also, a lot of people they they take into account like the aesthetics. When they're buying products, some people like the you know the slim features of, of you know of Apple you know, Apple products compared to PC products. Um, you know, just it kind of depends what you're into. Um, but yeah, so I, what I want to say is, why not both? Why why do you have to you know if you know favor you don't have to favor one or the other. You can kind of you know we can all just get along and you know, t you know share both products. Our you know our uh, our opinion on both products, because it is a free country, supposedly. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so when it comes to those two products, take those into consideration. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you have already made your choice on that matter, and you probably will be set like that for the rest of your lives on which you which you prefer. And you know, I I really don't care either way um, about either one. I'm not like a technical genius so I just whatever works works and that's that how many of you have attended private school before by a show of hands only a few cool um, well I'll tell you about my path in education I went to private school from kindergarten actually preschool until um, senior year of high school and then I went to community college for two years and I transferred here as a junior and I loved being in private school. Um, there's some pretty cool things about it. I think it was great. Um, the teacher to student ratio is usually um, a lot better. There's more teachers and smaller class sizes um, than in public schools. And so you can have that one-on-one -on -one time with a teacher that when you're younger, you really uh, could need. <clears throat> and um, when you're running late in the morning, it's great to just put on your uniform, you know exactly what you're gonna wear, and you don't have to worry about new e wearing uh, cool clothes every day in a public school. <laughs> um, one of the main things is money. Private schools rely on fundraisers. There's a lot of cool events I think that private schools do. My parents were always really involved. Um, and there's grandparents day. Your grandparents get to come to school. And there's a lot of cool activities, I think, that go on at private schools. In um, public schools, it's funded by the government. And right now, there's tons of cuts and deficits and big money issues. Um, one other thing is, in my class, I was with like 30 kids from kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. So I was with the same kids, and we got a really close bond. and. I'm still really good friends with a lot of those kids I was in school with um, from like kindergarten. So that's really cool. And I think there's just like a good spirit and unity and pride in public or in private schools. Um, and it's a great system. It's so great. There is the curriculum is different. Um, in my school, actually, there was a thing called Workshop Way, and it was really focused on like the individual kids and your own pace. And I really appreciate that curriculum and that system. 
So you should send your kids to private school if you can. Oh my God. So we all know man is inherently violent. Uh, from the time that apes first started using tools, they used tools to beat on each other. <laughs> Personally, I don't believe that man should be going to war anymore. We've evolved, slowly but surely we have. I personally don't believe in the Iraq war. This war was sold to the American public based on WMDs by George Bush. We went into Iraq and we never found any WMDs whatsoever. This should have been an indicator to us, or our first indicator at least, that we had been sh we'd basically been sold a lie. This war eventually, I think as, uh, as many of us can agree, was waged for oil and money. This is the kind of thing that the American public should have impeached George Bush for. War, to me, is always a last resort. It should never be a first option. The whole reason that we ended up going into any war whatsoever was because of 9-11. Al-Qaeda attacked our country and we wanted to respond and destroy terrorism. From there, terrorism became the operative word. Basically, George W. Bush used the word terrorism to piggyback and create his own form of terrorism, a media terrorism. He used Al-Qaeda and 9-11 to basically terrorize the American public with fear so that we would go into Iraq and we would invade these countries. He used terms like axis of evil, and, uh, which is an allusion to World War II, which was one of the hardest wars that we have ever fought. All of these things terrified the American public into believing that we should go into Afghanistan we should go into Iraq and we should try to eliminate this threat of terror. Through these actions of George W. Bush, he tricked the American public into going into Iraq. I, again, personally do not believe that we should be involved in Iraq. I think that we are inherently violent, but I also believe that we should appeal to reason before violence. Thank you. All right. So my favorite personality characteristic would be a go-getter. Um, I admire go-getters. They are the people who run this country. As um, Kenny said uh, before, um, go-getters are your Oprah Winfrey's of the world. They're the people who put together Big Bang Theory that we love so much. And uh, go-getters are people that we really do admire and appreciate. It doesn't matter if it's a political person, if it's someone we watch on TV. Uh, it could be like your grandparents that you want to model your life after. Go-getters um, are the people who find cures for diseases and try to find cures for cancer and who s help solve worldly problems. Go-getters are the, I mean, if Obama was not a go-getter, like our country would be who knows where, even, it doesn't even matter if it's Obama. Anyone who writes laws for this country, um, Prop 8 is something that was just recently talked about. Those people have been fighting long and hard to get gay marriage uh, legal in the United States, and they're still fighting to this day. And <clears throat> go-getters go above and beyond. Um, and go through whatever it takes our brave people to make progress in the world. And I would hope one day to be um, someone where my kids and other people will look up and say, you know, Krista was a go-getter and I admire her for it and she should, she's inspirational for it. And I think all of us here in the Becca program are to some degree a go-getter and I really respect that about everyone in this program, that we really are gonna chase after it, we're gonna you know, do whatever it takes. We'll move to a small town where we know no one and we'll be all by ourselves for God knows how many years, but we're going to do it because we want to change the future and we want to be the face of the future and we won't let anything stop and get in the way of that. Um, so like this sort of self-determined, 
self-determination is something that I find is hard to find in a lot of people, but we find it a lot here in the Becca program, which is really nice for all of us. But I know a lot of friends who, you know, sit on the couch all day and do illegal things. But I mean, we can, we all, <laughs> we all have our act together, and we are going to make differences in the world.